Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to cover a uh, subversion. If you've never used subversion before, it's great. If you're working on a team and data has to be passed around, it's it's you know, it's almost a must unless you want to put it on a flash drive. Um though if you've never used subversion, it it it, it can be very very cryptic. Um in this tutorial we're going to cover the basics, you know, all of the basic commands. Um, I expect that you have a client already installed and that you already have a subversion server. It doesn't matter if the server is hosted on a local host or if it's hosted by a company, though it has to work. Um, for this video, I'm using Tortoise SVN. Um, you know, great, great client, embeds itself in Windows, it's easy to use. So anyways, let's get started. Um, we're going to get a working directory to start out. A working directory is basically just, you know, a a file, a folder, a directory that's under a uh, version control. You know, so it's gonna the directory is gonna compare itself to what's on the uh, what's on the uh, server. Well, we have to have something on the server. So let's start by uploading something real quick to the uh, server. That way we can compare it. Um, the easiest way to do this, and I'm gonna I'll show you a demonstration here, is let's just say we're going to add a new folder right this is what's going to be uploaded to the server under the folder we're going to add a document um, i'm just going to put a text document we're going to name it test so this is what's getting uploaded to the server there's two ways to do this um, the first way is you can just right click the con right click the folder it brings up context you'll see if you have tortoise sv and it's installed you'll see uh you'll see the menus here you just hit import You'll see this. Here is your uh, where your server is. Um, the prefix that follows the server, if you're being if you're getting it hosted by a company, it's always different. So you know, just make sure whatever applies for your server. Um, now, your server, if you want to upload it to a directory within your server, you know. That will that will create a folder called test on the main server. If you just leave it just the server, it'll put it on the root of the server. So if you have folder structure, you know it's it's important that you follow that. Um, to make it easy, I just use the repo browser though, which you know right here you enter your server, it'll open up the repository browser. Here's the root of your server, and you know again here's the f here's the directories or the folders that I have on the server. Um, so the easiest way then is just to right click hit add file or folder you know for the sake of adding a folder you, you click here um, you know and you find your folder I'm not gonna upload it because my internet's kinda shaky today it takes a half an hour to upload um, so just pretend like we uploaded a folder um, now that we have something uploaded to the server let's get a working uh, directory um, by default, the first thing you upload to the server for every project starts at revision one. So, you know that it's it's not important, but it's something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get a working um, directory. Excuse me. So we're gonna go into wherever we want to check out the working directory. So in my case, we're gonna go work texture or excuse me work projects, and then we're gonna right click, and then we're gonna hit. There's again two ways to do do this. You can hit SV and checkout, which allows you to check out basically everything that's on the server. Or the easiest way to do this is again use the repo browser, which you you know just open it up, go to the server, and I'm gonna check out Project 01 here. Right click and hit checkout. It'll pop this up. You put it wherever you want. Although if again if you have folder structure, it's important you follow it. You know. Um, cause it's not, it's not easy to fix a directory once it's under checkout. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. Press OK. Um, if you're doing it like I am where you're checking it out to an already made folder, it'll say it's not empty, you know, just hit OK. And, uh, it'll in theory check it out. I've already checked it out. So I'm at revision five right now. Um, so if we go in, you know, here, y you'll see everything. If you're using Tortoise SV and it has the overlay. Um, everything has been checked out. It's now under version control. So I, you know, I can now use it. Um, you know, so after, after version control is done, you know, you're good to go. Um, 
as you as people upload stuff to your server all you have to do is right click the folder if you're all working on the same project and just hit um, update you know it will it will update your files um, it will download what you currently don't have in your project and update if something gets broken by another developer and you need to revert back to an old copy all you do is hit towards SVN and then you scroll down and hit revert um, you know and you, you'll see you can revert it all back to whatever revision um, what else update it to revision works too um, let's I guess let's commit something now to show you how that works uh, we're just gonna add a text document in here um, we're gonna name it test so pretend this is some uber advanced thing we just got done working on and now we want to upload it to the server for everybody else to download it said that you can commit the whole folder but the easiest way to do it if you just want to commit one file is you know right click the file and then we're gonna commit it or wait no I guess we can't do that because server so we have to we have to commit the whole folder so within the folder the only thing I want to commit to to the folder is the test so we're gonna click test and we're gonna commit that alright so it's committed that file to the server now so let's go ahead and just show you how this works we're gonna delete this file alright so if I go back and since it's uploaded to the server if I hit update it'll update it and you'll see that it brought the file back that's because it's uploaded to the server. If you want to delete the file off the server, all you have to write do, or all you have to do is right click and hit delete. It'll tag it for deletion on the server. You're good to go. Um, you know, so that pretty much sums up the basics of SVN. Um, it's not complicated, although it can, you know, as I said before, it can, it can get pretty cryptic when you don't know how to use it. It probably took me a year to figure out how to use SVN. Um, you know, so if you have if you have questions, you know, feel free to PM me on YouTube or whatever. But I, that pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah, later, guys.